I can recall an unpleasant memory from six years ago. The day I broke up with Aki Nagamine, the girl I was dating in high school. I guess we're breaking up today. Yeah. Take care, Hajime. Listen, Aki. What is it? Uh, never mind. Good luck over there. Aki decided to study abroad after she graduated high school. We both knew that while we were dating, but... As for me, Hanjime Sato and my life six years later. Nissan, you got a rejection letter from your job application. Throw it away, along with my life too. I'd be happy to. Seriously? I'm half kidding. Good luck next time. Yeah, does that mean you're half serious? I broke down at my entry-level job and quit not even a year after working there. I'm currently unemployed, living with my younger sister who was four years younger than me and a college student, and was living on my parents' money. My little sister is named Ichika, and she was actually a genius. She was even pretty on top of all of that too. She might lack a little bit of common sense and manners, but other than that, I was a proud brother. Either way, my little sister was really cute. In comparison, is there even a point in me being alive? I knew that it wasn't good to continue depending on my sister and parents like this. But I was having a complete emotional breakdown. I was branded as a failure by a certain advertising agency with the worst work environment you could imagine. I was a lost dog who didn't even have the energy to bark. Is it even possible for me to get back on track? I found the perfect company for a lost dog like you. Yeah, can you not read my mind like that? I mean, that's what your facial expression was basically saying. You really are easy to read. You have an advertisement face. Does my face give that strong of a message? But listen, I'm worried that I won't be able to do well even if I get a new job. You sound like those dumb people who say, isn't having a significant other annoying when they're not even in a relationship? That's mean. Listen, Nissan. What is our purpose in life? What are you asking all of a sudden? Are you going to say that it's to be happy? Nope, you're wrong. It's to pay taxes. Ouch! That realistic reason is hurting my heart. I'll eventually have to start working to combat the immensely declining birth rate, too. What does this world look like to you? Just like that, I arrived at an interview for the medium-sized advertising company that my sister introduced me to. She was going to remotely give me instructions through these earphones so that I could pass the interviews. I feel like this is bad. Which is worse, this or your cooking? Probably my cooking. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that it'd be bad if I got caught doing this. It's not cheating until your costs come. Don't say that. You should be like a gambler on the dark web. If you get caught, just keep insisting that your sister and you are one mind, one body. That's a terrible excuse. I'm sure they'll acknowledge that you love your little sister. I don't think that's the point. You have it all wrong. Nonetheless, I passed the first interview easily. I didn't even get caught for the second interview that happened on another day. Are you wondering whether or not I'd be tormented by the guilt? I mean, I don't even know what's right and what's wrong anymore. Perhaps that's how bad my mental and emotional state was. Even then, my conscience spoke out to me towards the very end. Whether I'd be okay with moving forward this way. 
I made it to the final interview. I didn't think I'd make it this far just by using remote instructors, but... This isn't right. I have to apologize for everything that I've been doing. Then I'll give up on getting this job and find a different job using my own power. But when I arrived at the interview... I've been waiting for you, Hajime. It's been six years, hasn't it? Aki? Why? What do you mean? This is my company. What? What? This is so awkward. I reunited with my ex-girlfriend after six years. I was so shocked that I completely forgot about how I had to apologize. My little sister was a genius. She probably knew that my ex would be working here. She was hoping this would happen sooner or later, which is probably why she recommended this company. I'm in charge of your final interview. I'm not going to go easy on you just because you're my ex, okay? Uh, about that. Can you hear me, Nissan? Ichika! Say exactly what I tell you to say. Aki, you're so beautiful now. What? Uh, uh, really? Gosh, you're so forward. What the hell? What is she making me say? Well, my sister is much more beautiful. Excuse me? My little sister loves me so much, it's a problem. I mean, I love her too, though. Huh? Uh, what? So that's that. You better not go easy on me during the interview. I'm only applying to this company for your benefit, okay? Uh, Hajime... Come on! You're just my ex, so don't call me by my name. At the very least, you should be calling me... Hajime-sama. Meow, meow. I see. I understand very clearly now. I'm going to drop you during this interview, so you better be prepared. This is awful! I followed my sister's remote instructions and pissed off my ex-girlfriend. This final interview is definitely going to be like hell! Now hold on a second. This might actually be good. I've been passing the previous interviews because I was being remotely controlled. It's only normal that I wouldn't get the job. I should do this interview knowing I'd get yelled at. And so, my final interview began. Welcome. My name is Nagamine, and I'm the CEO here. Long time no see. A long time no see, sir. Wait, he's Aki's dad. I thought that my ex was going to interview me, but her father was sitting in too. Canon Corporation was a medium-sized advertising agency that my ex-father was operating. There was nothing wrong with the CEO joining in on the interview. However, my ex-girlfriend and her father were right in front of me. This is the most awkward interview I've had in my entire life. And Aki's been glaring at me since earlier. Let's get started then, shall we? I mean, I've heard all about you from Aki, though. I is that so? Loosen up a bit. Loosen up a little. I'm going to ask you a couple of questions then. Uh, of course. Y yes, please. The boss's questions were very simple. I answered exactly how Ichika told me to and explained my opinions. However, the CEO asked me a surprising question during the middle of the interview. One last question. Would you ever consider getting back into a relationship with Aki? Yes, about that. What? What did you just say? This is a private question that's not part of the interview. I'll ask you one more time. Would you ever get back into a relationship with Aki? He's suddenly asking such a serious question. You're kidding. What's the right answer to a question like that? Obviously, my answer is N-O way. Right. You're sounding like Miss Crystal from the Tokyo Olympics. 
She said, oh, mo, te, not she. Get out of here, Daddy. Yes, ma'am. The CEO actually left. What am I supposed to do now? Apologies about my daddy. I, I mean the boss. Oh, no, it's all right. The way she's talking is so professional and scary. All right, I'll be the one to ask this time. Do you want to get back together with me? What? Is she asking that question too? I don't care anymore. No. Of course not. Then why did you apply to this company? It's not because I was trying to get you, Aki-san. My sister recommended it to me because it was in the same industry as my previous job. Hmm? It seems like you love your sister very much. She's my favorite. My little sister is my life. I'm going to create a kingdom here and name it Little Sister Empire. Uh... At this rate, it doesn't seem like you dated anyone other than me. No, I was in a relationship with five women after breaking up with you. Five? I apologize, I was incorrect. It was 50 women. 50? I met all of them at a nightclub. They said they wanted to be my girlfriend for one night, so I couldn't say no, and... You're a jerk! That's what you think, right? Do you have any data as evidence to prove that I'm a jerk? Uh, he's so annoying! I don't even know what I'm saying at this point. What kind of interview is this? But my number one was always you, Aki. What? What are you saying all of a sudden? Listen to me. I was so depressed that I didn't know what to do after breaking up with you. What? Hachime? The reason I got into flings with random girls was to fill the emptiness that you left in me. I wanted to call you back that time. I wanted to tell you not to go overseas. <gasps> Basically, the thing I wanted to tell you was... It's all your fault that I'm like this. Get out of here! Just like that, the most awful interview in the universe ended successfully. No. I was actually burned to a crisp. <laughs> it's over. Everything is over. Good job, Nissan. Ichika! Come on, come on, calm down. How can I stay calm? It's all going according to plan, so there's no need to worry. Besides, what was that one night stand story about? I tried to pick at Aki-san's jealousy. We're picking at it way too much. That's fine. To her, it was like leaving incense at her grave. What kind of analogy is that? I mean, it is her fault that you lost confidence in yourself. That's not true. I was working at a terrible company, and that was why. You weren't trying even before that. It was obvious that you couldn't forget about Aki-san. You had to withstand the hardships of heartbreak all this time. Seeing that firsthand was painful for me. I was speaking on behalf of you earlier, and I got super irritated. The way you were acting even when you had such an adorable sister so close to you. Nissan, I love you. I'm sorry. I don't have that kind of kink. Urgh. I swear I'm going to be incarnated into a stranger and marry you in my next life. Yay, destiny. Anyway, please. I'm looking for anyone who has the confidence to date my little sister with the brother complex. One week after that. I got the job. See? It was such a terrible interview. I read over the email a bunch of times. But it seems like I actually got accepted for the job. I didn't know whether it was a good or bad thing that I got accepted, but I ended up going to my first day of work while still in disbelief. 
And that's all for the explanation of our office. Uh, um, Aki? Call me Nagamine during work hours. Then, Nagamine-san, can I ask you a question? What is it? Why did you hire me? I'm not allowed to tell you that. I see. Well, this has nothing to do with why we hired you, but personally, I felt responsible. Responsible? The reason you're like this now is because of me, right, Sato-san? No, that's not it. That was all my little sister. What about your little sister? I need to be honest with everything now. I explained that I was going through my interviews while receiving remote instructions, but... I see. You love your sister that much? Uh, no, no. That's not what you're supposed to be angry about. This means that everything you said came from your little sister and not you. Oh, about that. That's not entirely true. It's true that I wanted to hold you back from going overseas. What about the part where you had to fling with 50 women? Of course, I'd never do that. You're the only person I've been in a relationship with. Uh, I see. Then, this is a secret between the two of us. What? Really? But I cheated. You know what they've been saying since the olden days. It's not cheating until you get caught. People have been saying things like that for a while? So that's what. I'm going to be training you strictly, so you better prepare yourself. Y yeah Yes, please. Aki became my supervisor and tediously taught me everything I needed to know. It was hard at first, but after two weeks, I was able to do most things on my own. About three months after I started working. Sato-san, you've been amazing recently. Your old employers must regret losing someone so talented. No, I don't think that's true. It's all thanks to everyone here and Supervisor Nagamine. I'm going to continue working hard, so please continue to take care of me. I was complimented and approved of a lot more. My precious workspace was cold and unfriendly, but I felt so much more comfortable being here. I understood firsthand how it feels to be in a good work environment. Sato-san, do you want to go grab lunch? Oh, I do. Aki and I's relationship as a supervisor and an employee was going smoothly too. Maybe it's because we reunited in the most horrible way, but after we cleared the air, we were able to work together extremely comfortably. But not everything was smooth sailing, and... We're going to suddenly be doing a big project like this at our company? I got lucky in getting this project, but is it difficult? I can decline the offer if it's too hard, but... Let's see, um... The CEO received a project to create an advertisement for a popular cosmetics company. It was good to know that our company got approval, but it was a big responsibility. I understood why Aki was debating. We were a small company with only 20 employees. We didn't have enough manpower and we couldn't start finding new workers either. Even if we complete this project, we get a bad rating if our product is bad. I understand the risk, but can't we do something about this? It is a good opportunity for the company, but... Hmm. I guess we can't help it then. Excuse me? Could you please explain the project to me in detail? This company accepted me. The previous job had a bad work environment, but I gained decent experience from working there. I wanted to at least hear about the project. So that's basically it. It might get difficult, but... No, I think we can manage. Really? Sato-san, this is a really important project. The future of our company depends on it. I've done a similar project like this before, and if I can get everyone's help with it... Got it. 
Let's take it. It'll be my full responsibility. Sato-kun, can you use your experience to support Aki? I understand. Leave it to me. Just like that, our company decided to take on working with the cosmetics company. The trust that Aki and I received created teamwork, and our project was moving smoothly. It wasn't like this at my old company. It was something along the lines of, Do this. If you fail, it'll be your full responsibility. But here, I was able to create something with a team who I felt comfortable with. And then... Cheers! We successfully finished the project, and the clients seemed to approve of it a lot. They wanted us to work with them on their next project too. The rumor spread and other big companies were starting to request ads from us. It looks like our company is going to expand a lot more thanks to you, Hajime. Thanks so much! But... It wasn't just me. It was thanks to everyone who worked together. Besides, it's also thanks to you. For believing in me and taking a chance on me. <laughs> What's wrong? Nothing. I was just happy to see you as motivated as you were back then. Really? Yeah. You've always been so easy to read. <laughs> My little sister said that to me too. She said I have an advertisement face. Ugh, there you go talking about your little sister again. I knew you had a sister complex. Ugh, that's not it. Because why do you look angry? Because... I don't want you talking about another girl when you're with me. She's my sister, and I don't have that kind of kink. Hmm? Will you go on a date with me like we used to, then? What? Well, I'll think about it. What the hell? Ugh. Aki and I's friendship was going well, but there was a reason why we couldn't take that extra step forward. On a different day, Ichika wanted to meet Aki, so I introduced them, but... Hello to the woman who once stumped my brother. Hold on, hold on, Ichika-san. Hello to the little sister with a brother complex who used her brother to badmouth me. Oh, God. This isn't just adding fire to the flame, it's a bomb! You seem like you're about to get back together all thanks to me. Good for you. Who said it's thanks to you? I'm going to get my relationship with Hajime back thanks to my attractiveness. I'm going to take a walk around here, so... Hajime! Nissan! Why can't you guys be friends? Thank you for watching. How was today's video? Please check out our other videos as well.